Hello everyone, welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity which has been released by UPPSC, Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission. Now, it is the one of it is one of the most sought after domains out there for core engineers, civil, mechanical, and electrical engineering students. So, in this video, we'll be talking in detail the notification which has been released. So, we can go to the official website uh, and we can look for the notifications the latest notification has been released for combined engineering services examination we can see the application filling date will start from 17th of december and uh, the last date is 17th of january 2025 now over here we can see the advertisement in detail um, it can be viewed in hindi as well as english so here you can see the important dates on the starting of the notification that is 17th of uh, December and uh, 17th of January. After this, one of the most important points in this notification is the OTR. OTR that is one time registration process which is required to be carried forward. So before official application form filling, what you need to do is you need to go to the website otr.pariksha.nic.in and you need to do one time registration over there and then you will be given one time registration number that one time registration number you need to go to the official website of uppsc.up.nic.in and then you start with your application process right so you have to keep this in mind and this entire process is in four stages First again, OTR you need to do, one time registration you need to do and this is your first stage. Here, this is your first stage, you need to go and authenticate with OTR. Then after that, uh, second stage is act the actual form filling procedure, you need to submit your details. After that, stage 3 is your payment, payment details uh, you need to mention, either you can do net banking, card payments and other payment modes are also there. After this, fourth stage will be uh, that application final application form will be given to you and you need to see if the uh, form details you have filled are accurate or not and then you can download that as well after this uh, comes the application fee application fee you can see point number two for various categories unreserved economically weaker sections and other backward classes here you can see total fee is 125 rupees Schedule car, schedule tribes, it is 65 rupees. After that, uh, PWD category, that is physically handicapped categories, uh, you can see 25 rupees. Ex servicemen, 65 rupees. And uh, for women, freedom fighters, skilled players as well, um, you need to go and uh, you need to pay with respect to your categories they have mentioned. You, ha you have to pay the fee with respect to your category. After that, you can see that the number of vacancies are fairly large. 604 vacancies have been released. And level 10 will be the pay scale. Per month remuneration will be 15,600 rupees to 39,100 rupees. Reservation uh, should be as per the UP board. They have mentioned over here. After that, let's look towards the qualifications which are required as per the eligibility criteria. So see the qualification point number 3 over here. Point number 8, sorry. You can see educational qualifications, total 11 departments and positions are there, posts are there for all the branches, mechanical, civil and electrical. You can see mechanical engineering, irrigation department. Here you need to have mechanical engineering. After that, if you are um, a student who have an experience of two years in, um, in this experience of two years, if you have in territorial army or if you have uh, obtained a certificate B of national cadet corps then you will be applicable um, and also one more thing for civil engineering positions if you have qualified as associate member in institution of engineers India in civil engineering section A and B then you will be applicable for this position then only you will be eligible for this position because it has it has been marked as essential so keep this in mind students need to understand this point um, then only you will be allowed for these positions 
इलेक्ट्रिकल मैकेनिकल आल्सो यू कैन सी इट हैज बीन मेंशन नाउ यूपी जल निगम इज देयर रूरल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इज देयर हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन प्लानिंग डेवलपमेंट इज देयर फॉर ऑल द पोजिशन आफ्टर दैट पब्लिक वर्क डिपार्टमेंट इज देयर एंड देयर दे हैव नॉट मैंशन एनी अबाउट and the associate member of being an associate member in the institution of uh, engineers india there it is not mentioned as essential only for above positions you can see for uh, um, yeah rural engineering department only they have mentioned and for up jal nigam they have mentioned it right so you have to keep this in mind as a essential criteria not for pwd position after this it will be preferential that not necessary but preferential that if you have a territorial army or for a minimum period of 2 years and a you have been a part of national cadet corps as well then only uh, you will be preferred it's a preferential uh, thing it is not important right it is not essential after this um, you can see agriculture department engineering their bachelor's degree is released uh, bachelor's degree is required for the position essential it is and after that uh, preferential is post graduate degree in agriculture engineering from a recognized university after this um, here also they have mentioned that second preferential thing will be that if you are part of territorial army or obtained a national cadet corps certificate b assistant director energy department bachelor's degree in electrical engineering only that is sufficient and after that same preferential criteria there as well after this you can see assistant engineer civil irrigation and water resource directorate um what is essential again they have mentioned over here here also they have mentioned that you need to be part of institution of engineers india in civil engineering uh, branch uh, associate member right after this keep it in mind if you are part of this associate member if you are a associate member in institution of india engineers then only you will be applicable over here um if you want to become a part of them what you can do is you can go to the official website of institution of india engineers and then you will be able to understand what are the criteria for that medical health and family welfare department here civil engineering degree is required and same associate member of institution of india engineers now after this let's see the age limit age limit is uh, you can see 21 years to 40 years and relaxation is there as per the up uh, state for various categories uh, now let's see what is the scheme of the examination scheme of the examination preliminary exam and uh, your uh, main examination uh, see the forms are also mentioned for the disabled candidates and other backward classes you can see the forms which you need to fill in documents which are required go to the official website and see yeah see over here the scheme of exam appendix 2 in the appendix 2 they have mentioned preliminary examination see uh, this exam how many total number of questions will be there prashno ki sankhya will be 150 150 क्वेश्चन यहां पर आपके टोटल होंगे टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस विल बी 150 फिफ्टी हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर फॉर जनरल अवेयरनेस सामान्य ज्ञान इज जनरल अवेयरनेस 25 फाइव क्वेश्चन आफ्टर दैट सामान्य हिंदी इज बेसिक हिंदी दैट इज 25 फाइव क्वेश्चन आर देयर एंड इंजीनियरिंग एप्टीट्यूड टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी हंड्रेड ओवर हेयर टोटल नंबर ऑफ marks will be 300 that means each and every question will be of two marks and total number of hours will be two hours for this examination now keep this in mind uh, the syllabus is also mentioned for general awareness and uh, basic hindi after that general aptitude most of the topics are from upsc engineering services prelims exam paper 1 like information communication technology is there basics of project management is there uh engineering materials is there design and drawing is there uh machinery and maintenance is there basics of measurement and instrumentation is there uh disaster management is there uh ethics and value uh, which uh, ethics and values in engineering profession quality and control intellectual property rights human health sanitation uh climate change production and construction these are some topics after that two more topics are here also here 
um, yeah, recent development in applied science, role of science and technology in daily life. So see, basic topics are there which you need to cover. And after this, once you qualify this paper one, you need to go towards paper two. Paper two will have two papers. That means your main paper will be having two papers and then after that, personal interview. So in the first paper, questions will be from Samanya Hindi plus your engineering stream that is civil, mechanical, electrical and agriculture engineering. Total 100 questions will be there. Point to be noted is every question will be of 3 marks. Total will be, um, total marks will be 375 and how many number of hours? 2.5 hours. You can see then you will go towards paper 2. In paper 2, again Samanya Adhyan, General awareness. Uh, questions uh, will be there, 25 questions will be there and uh, every question will be of 3 marks and uh, engineering, civil questions, mechanical, electrical um, and agriculture engineering 100 questions, every question 3 marks, total will be of 375, right, total 375, how many number of hours, 2.5 hours, after that there will be 1 personal interview as well of 100 marks. So entire selection, maximum marks are 850. So out of these, you will be selected, right? And after that, civil engineering syllabus for paper one, paper two, and in various parts, it is mentioned in detail. After that, similarly for paper one and paper two, the detailed syllabus is also mentioned for mechanical engineering students. And after that, for uh, electrical engineering students as well. And uh, you can see, for ha, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering students, you can see the syllabus they have mentioned. In detail, they have mentioned the syllabus for paper one and paper two, right? And uh, agriculture engineering for paper one and paper two, again, they have mentioned, right? The entire syllabus in detail has been mentioned. So you can look into the entire syllabus. After that, they have also mentioned department wise, the number of vacancies as well. If you want to look into it, you can look into it. Uh, Appendix five. Yeah, over here in Appendix 5, they have mentioned department wise for mechanical, civil, mechanical, civil, electrical engineering, how many number of vacancies are there. If you want to look into it, here you can look into it. But the point is for general departments, total 582 vacancies are there. 582 vacancies are there. But some special recruitment is there um, for OBC and scheduled tribe category, 22 vacancies. So total will be 604, right? And uh, they have mentioned the disability criteria and everything uh, uh, below that. So you can see. So this is your entire notification in detail. If you want to see this entire notification, you can go to the official website and you can look into it once again. And if you missed out on any of the points, what you can do is you can rewind the video, then look uh, what is required in the uh, form filling process once again and I hope I was able to give you the entire information regarding UPPST AE examination and the points which you need to focus uh, and please do not miss those essential points in the qualification process and the examination uh, aspect as well. Right. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it and please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.